Alrighty. Alright guys, hey everyone, how's it going? I'm finally live streaming once more. I don't know why, but uh, I wanted to stream every weekend at the very least, uh, but I've just not had the courage to do it. I have been trolling at Kurai uh, for the last two weeks, which is why I haven't released any... I haven't recorded any brand new videos, because it's the same boring stuff, but... Uh, I've got so many Kurai chars. I was just one kg off of a trophy. And right now, if you see, the weather is perfect. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how well I'm gonna do it in cloudy weather, but I'm still have my fingers crossed, hoping to get a trophy. Uh, I will show you guys the setup. I'm just gonna quickly throw these out uh, because this 10 meter spot is the golden spot for me. And on the east end of the island, uh, yeah, the east end, I've been catching Sewan trouts and Kurai chars. Uh, from the 10 meter to 12 meter hole, I haven't really ca caught much fish there. Uh, but I've been pretty successful. Hi, Jess. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very, I don't know, monotonous activity trolling. So I didn't think it would be good to stream but I feel like my chances are really good uh, to finally catching a trophy Kurai char so this is my biggest one yet 13.99 kg 15 kg Kurai is a trophy and uh, oh there we go oh yeah I also have to show you my setup wow what is that a that's an eyed a 3 kg eyed that's that's nice uh, so I will quickly show you my setup as well. Uh, now Kurai is just biting every three seconds. That's great. So my setup right now is the caliber is on a 30 kg rod. I have a 27 kg line, 22.8 kg liter. Uh, second one is a 28 kg liter uh, and a 30 kg rod on the Alpha 8000. And then I have another Alpha with a 24 kg rod and a 22 kg leader. So the 22 kg is the weakest point. Uh, I can usually, I ended up, end up locking my uh, my reel. Waste of time, Kurai. I guess people aren't having much luck there. I was here yesterday, it was cloudy and it was, it was average. But as soon as there was a little bit of cloud breakage, we had a little bit of sun and holy cow, 10 Kurai chars in one hour. Uh, marker all of them and I ended up making what 822 silver in two hours so I'm hoping uh, we get something at least uh, so how's your day going guys last time I was live streaming where was I uh, where was I guys I don't remember I think I was at Old Berg it has been some time. It has been like maybe a month, perhaps. So at that time, pikes were really hot at Oldberg. Uh, since then, I've been just flailing around. Uh, I ended up going to Volkov. I trolled there for a week. Then I came back to Kurai. Holy cow. So when both of my rods have fish on them, I just stopped trolling because there's no point at letting go of good trolling. Uh, location. With this rod, I don't cast too far, so I have to always let it sit for a little while. But yeah, how is fishing going for you guys at RF4? I believe some of you are high level enough to be at Tunguska. Uh, I'm, you know, sadly still here. <laughs> but uh, trolling, honestly, guys, I don't know what else to do with trolling not only am i making amazing money but i'm leveling up really quick as well like i have six thousand silver again and i bought all these 30 kg rods and i've upgraded my line so i spent a lot of money uh. <laughs> oh wow the pike is really going for that rod oh just got a pike oh nice pike chest nine kg 
Hey, the Pike Queen is back. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I'll have to do a sharp turn. So for the stream, today I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna go like this, I'll just show you guys on the map. Just let me reorient myself here. 10 meter hole is the honey spot. So I'm gonna go like this, 10 meter, and then I'm gonna go 3 to 12. And then go right back, and I'm hoping, I believe at 3 meter hole is where I caught 8 kg arctic char and other bigger fish. So... Yeah, everyone's saying in chat, Jess is uh, back to her old tricks. <laughs> uh, if anyone knows any good spots at Sura, I've never been to Sura because I've never heard of it. Uh, I've never seen anything, any trophies being caught there. I haven't seen uh, the VK site. I haven't seen anyone saying, oh yeah, here's an active spot. Nothing of that sort. That's why I've never bothered with Sura. But uh, if you guys do know any hot spots, any good fishing there, please let me know. Two trophies in 10 minutes. Ow. What are people doing that are... That they're catching trophies? Oh, man. So, a few days ago, I caught that 14 kg Kurachar. I was 1 kg off. And that same day, I got a... 10 kg arctic char which was also 1 kg off <laughs> that was a great day but also sad at the same time 11 trophies in total is my third night where where is where are you oh I think he might be there is Okay, uh, I've heard of sturgeon, uh, but that's all I've heard of. So I was thinking maybe one day, just to see what a sturgeon feels like, I'll, I'll go there. But even then, I'm just not hearing. I heard it's very slow, so. Uh, I've already punished myself by going to bear for something slow. So I don't want to go to Sura just for the same thing. It is becoming nighttime, so it's going to be slow. Uh, but you never know, I might get a big fish during the night. I don't bother trying to fish for burbits or bream. Uh, I believe there is an active bream spot, but it's just I have to swap out all my gear for that. And it's very annoying. And burbit is very hit and miss. Sometimes you'll keep getting nice burbs. Sometimes it's very dry. So I'm just hoping to level up quickly because I want to go to uh, Amber and Octuba are the two places where... If you check uh, the official Discord, everyone is catching crazy amount of trophies there. And that's where I want to go. Uh, there are two big holes in Sura, one near town, north. Uh, those two spots are the most fish. Okay. I think for my uh, regular episodes, I will do a little bit of research. I'll ask around on Discord. And I'll ask, okay, you know, where, which are the best spots? What am I supposed to use? What ground bay? What fish? Should I go for and if I have a good amount of time there I will record that episode I have been to donuts and my first time there I I mean I was catching plenty of fish but they were all non markers so all of that video I deleted all of it because I just didn't feel it was entertaining enough and recently I went to donuts again I caught a little bit of fish and I basically uh, joined that into a grand tour of uh episode so i basically went to different lakes for one hour i compiled that into one montage of a video that'll be coming up uh in a while actually i have so many videos lined up so eventually unfortunately i'm sorry guys nighttime is not good for videos or stream because it's just so darn dark not to mention i'm just facing backwards this whole time uh but i just Really, really want a Kurachar, a trophy one. I've been here for two weeks now. I've caught so many Kurachars and they come in plenty. So that's why I decided to record. It's not just me in the wild saying, oh yeah, you know what? Let's go for a trophy. 
uh, I sa I'm saying I'm going for a trophy because I know I have a really good chance. The last two weeks I've caught a lot of nice sized uh, Kurai Chars, so. Uh, for me, uh, if we go to trophies here, the Kurai I've caught Arctic Char, I've caught two trophy Arctic Chars, I've caught one trophy Lake Trout, I've caught two trophy Wendes. The only fish on my side is the Kurai Char. Uh, Sivan Trout is so rare that I'm not even going to bother with it, although I did catch, I believe, uh, Sivan Trout will be S, so Sivan Trout. Uh, where is Sivan Trout here? There we go, 5.6 kg I caught yesterday. Uh, so I think... Getting a trophy Sivantra will be an absolute surprise because I don't expect to catch that. Uh, what leaders do I have? I have 22.8 kg leader and 28.2 kg leader and another 22.8 kg leader. Surprisingly, my 28 kg leader is getting all the fish. Uh, because to my right is the caliber that's on the 22 kg leader and uh, as you saw so far only the left rod has caught the most amount of fish but I think uh, morning time it's going to be on fire so right now it's you know a little bit quiet uh, Slay congratulations you're level 5 uh, Terrible 786 it is a very nice community uh, Jess, uh, I ended up making my own leaders, uh, I believe a few weeks ago, you helped me out. You told me where to get the swivels for making a leader. Uh, that's because I was at Wolkov and the normal leaders weren't big enough for that place. So even though these leaders are pretty big, uh, I'm still catching a lot of Arctic Chars and Kurais, so. Uh, act Hello, hello. Nice of you to join. I'm so happy to see new faces today. Uh, it is nighttime. It's a little slow, guys, but I... Oh, hello from Taiwan. <laughs> How is it going over there? Uh, right now, it's nighttime in-game. So, unfortunately, you cannot see much. Uh, but nights are very short in this game, which is... Why I like it so much uh, but I, oh yeah tomorrow I think it's gonna be golden it's partly cloudy and sunny and it's nine degrees uh, so it's gonna be amazing uh, I'm sorry I'm sorry person from Taiwan I do not understand uh, what you're writing in the chat <laughs> but uh, I'm using hunter 2001 on Hunter 1001 on two of my rods and I'm using Hunter 1006 on my third rod that I'm holding. So uh, all of my rods have caught a lot of fish uh, or else I wouldn't have them on actually. I've overshot this. That's okay. Uh, so once I catch a trophy Kurai char, I'm gonna leave this area because I'm so tired of Kurai. Uh, you're always constantly turning in this lake since it's so small. The next lake I want to go to is uh, Wolkov. Um, English pad is translated by Google. Uh, we are here at two o'clock in the evening. Hello, oh my god. Uh, well, the Google Translate is doing good enough job for me to understand you. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's in the middle of the night for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope uh, once it's morning time in the game that we catch a lot of fish and it's entertaining for you guys. Uh, that's the other reason why I wanted to stream this lake because I catch a lot of fish. So it's not a boring, you know, I'm sitting there for 15 minutes like at bear and not getting anything. That puts a lot of pressure on me because I want to entertain you guys. So... Uh, so, person from Taiwan, uh, are you familiar with Russian Fishing 4? Do you play this game? 
because I think majority of the people here are from uh, the M Dog community. That's the community I'm from uh, in this game. Uh, Mattis K, hello, hi, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, it's gonna be morning soon, and we'll finally get a lot of action. Yeah, so uh, two days ago I was at Volkov because I wanted I had to repair my gold S reel and I went trolling for an hour there and I caught my biggest fish yet. Uh, the biggest fish I've caught was the 19 kg uh, grass carp at Oldberg. I've caught two of them before and all by surprise while trolling I got a 22 kg catfish. Uh, oops, right here, 22 kg catfish, and <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, my gold S brakes were 55% worn out, and I could not pull it in. I had to lock my brake in order to bring it in, and my god, that was scary. Uh, I asked in the chat quickly because if you look at the bottom right, it, there is a triangle inside that is an exclamation mark and that went yellow and I'm like uh oh am I what's going on so I asked in the chat and thank you Jess Jess answered she said something on your setup is damaged over 50% not damaged I'm sorry but uh, worn out I don't understand what you're talking about uh oh hey Jess we're gonna have a competition then who can uh, catch the biggest Kura Char? So I'm trolling for two hours. Here. Uh, so let's see what I can do. Uh, Mattis, your biggest fish is 12 kg grass carp. Well, uh, Mattis, if I'm pronouncing your name right, uh, what level are you? And what rod setup do you have? I think you are probably like a low level person. Uh, what is your channel chat called? Uh, so, uh, the in-game chat is called, uh, my dogs, M dog, uh, gaming. Uh, so if you search for M dogs, D A W G S, you should find the community. You can join it. It's a family friendly chat and there are a lot of helpful people. When I was new, I had no idea what I was doing. So many people from, uh, this community have helped me out and I'm so grateful. I wouldn't be playing this game if it weren't for them because I would have just gotten bored and I would have just cried and left. <laughs> Dejan, yeah, everyone, like, if you want to come to Kurai, I think it's going to be an amazing day today. Uh, or is that tomorrow? Uh-oh. Uh, as long as there's a little bit of sun and it's cold. Uh, it's ideal weather yesterday. Like I said, it was partly sunny and cloudy and I in two hours. I made 822 silver. I got 10 um, Sorry 10 marker Kurai chars on hunter 1001 and 1006 M dog gaming. Thank you so much, Jessica Yeah, so uh, person from Taiwan, I'm sorry. I don't know your name, but that's what I'm gonna say uh, Jessica has uh, written in the chat uh, what the gaming channel is. Uh, Matis, you're level 14. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, when I was new level, as soon as I could go to uh, Old Berg uh, with the 5.5 kg Lacertes, uh, I wanted big fish. So I ended up uh, putting potatoes on my hooks and I ended up getting... 1.8 kg lake trout. A very weird looking fish. I think their mouth, their face is so big compared to their body and they're so shiny. It just looks like a rubber toy. Uh, is there something on my first one? No, there isn't. Yeah, so I ended up going to Oldberg. I wanted to catch a big carp and I ended up getting a 10 kg carp on my 5.5 kg uh, Lacertes. And boy, was that a battle. The fish are just no competition for my setup unless they're really big. I leave my brakes at 24 because uh, 
I can comfortably handle everything. Uh, usually when I'm uncertain, like at Wolkov, I leave it at 21 or mostly 22. Uh, you're fishing in the last picture. I'm assuming you're fishing at Kurai. Uh, sorry, I'm not reading much of the in-game in chat because I'm looking at the YouTube chat. And uh... Oh, he's at Tunguska. Oh, wow. Okay, so you are high level. Yeah, people say it's amazing money farm there. And by the time I'm level 30, they're going to nerf that place down. So let's see how it goes. That's why I've been trolling nonstop. Uh, getting 15 kg grass on them. Yeah, I really want to catch a big carp. Uh, so far, Old Berg is the best place for me. Bear is just... I don't know. I'm willing to buy boilies and go there, but I just... I just need to know that I can catch at least big carps every few minutes, you know? Ah, uh, sadly, it's very quiet. It's 5 a.m. Perhaps the time is gonna start at 6 a.m. Uh, usually, sometimes it's fire in the morning and uh, sunset time, and sometimes it's very slow. Uh, but the game always balances out. So, so far, uh, I've been here 19 minutes. We have a few markers. Uh, but in the next five minutes, I will catch 10 marker fish. Like, it's insane. So the game balances itself out always. That's what I've noticed. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, if you leave the, the pike alone, <laughs> maybe you can go and terrorize the carps. <laughs> uh, but carp fishing, a lot of patience if you're at Oldberg or Bear. I think the only good places for carp fishing is uh, the high level, what is it, uh, Octuba and Amber. Because if you go on VK site where they list all the trophies and hotspots, or if you go to uh, the original Discord uh it's just littered with the trophies of people catching carps in those places. No one posts anything about Bear or Oldberg when it comes to carps. So uh, to me, I feel like those are the only two places worthwhile to go for a big carp fish. Uh, Amber is huge. Yeah, I hear people talk about taking quads out. And I made a mistake... Uh, I made a mistake and went there since I was so excited for carp fishing. It was a big light. Yeah, I once I unlocked bear, I did not go to bear. I was like, oh no, there's going to be big fish. So I grinded at Oldberg until I got the right setup. Then I was so happy. I went to bear and I fished for two hours and I just, I was hardly making a hundred silver per hour. And I was catching, I was catching like so little, and that's such a big letdown. And I went there maybe two or three more times, and I fished there an hour at least every time. You know, I wanted to give that place a full hundred percent try before I said that that uh, place is a fail, and I just never had luck there. I'm just waiting for the day when people start posting. Oh yeah, you know, forty four fifty coordinate. At bear is giving me so many trophies and so many fish. That's the day I will go to a bear. If no one posts anything about that place, that means there's just nothing there. Uh, Wendy's. So if you notice, my right reel uh, lure, the it's in the water, but to my left, it's on the water. So I have to cast further on my left one. And left one is this guy here. So it's perhaps the test is that... No, the, the rod is the same. 30.5 kg. I think it's because of the reel. Uh, but I still get hits once, even though it is above ground. Uh, above the water. Sometimes what I'll do is if I catch a fish on this rod... I'll just pick up the third one, the one on the left, and I'll just release a little bit of the line. Uh, 
but yes. <laughs> What's the last trophy you guys have caught so far? Your most recent trophy? Uh, my most recent trophy was... I don't remember. Either the Arctic Char or the Lake Trout. Okay, we're entering the 10 meter hole. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping to get something here. You know, on the day I, I stream, I get absolutely nothing. Uh, Kurachar, let alone trophy, is extremely difficult without a presentation. Yeah, Kurachar is hard, but I've been here two weeks and I've caught a boatload of Kurachars. Uh, that's why... That's why I know I have a chance. I've already caught 14 kg, 10 kg Kurachar so far. So, uh, that's the only reason why I said I'm trying for uh, the trophy. Uh, 5 kg. Okay, I welcome pikes as well. I'm gonna pick up this one and I'm just gonna let the reels out a little bit, the line out a little bit. Okay, let me turn the boat a little bit. Oh, we overshot it, but it's okay. Okay, uh, I haven't caught a trophy yet. Uh, Matus, you will, don't worry. Just make sure you your reel, I guess, for Kura is at least 10 kg or more. Or else you're going to waste too much time getting like 6 kg fish. Uh... Oh, 10 kg burbot. Holy cow. You gotta be better for spinning by hand. Oh, hello from Russia. Wow. <laughs> it's good to see people from so many different places. Uh, from spinning. I don't have much experience for, for spinning, but I have fished from uh, this spot over here into the 10 meter hole and I've caught like savan trout and kurai chars but it's just so random that I cannot say that oh yeah you know try from uh, try from the dock and you have a chance of getting great fish just so random with the trolling every day I've trolled for the last two weeks and I'm making 600 to 800 silver so I know this is working for me and I guess that's the only reason why I'm so confident and I've decided to stream. Yeah, you know what? Uh, when I came here with 8 kg rod and I think like, I don't know, 5 to 8 kg uh, reel. When I was new to Kura, I was making 100 silver per hour. And that's because I was wasting too much time uh, reeling in like 5 to 8 kg fish. So you just won't make money in trolling if your setup is not up to it. People are saying the new map is going to be the sea. Uh, because I believe there is a reel that's uh, sea ready for the salt water. <laughs> Jess, you're crawling. Alrighty, Jess. Usually, usually I, I turn around here. So the, so our, uh, what you call it, our, oh, see, they're both. So that our lures can sink in this 15 meter hole. Uh, I used to go right on top of the 15 meter hole, but I've never caught anything here. So I'll let it sink there while I tend to my other one. And uh, I'm going to throw this one there as well. Okay, I'm going to let them sink. And by the time I start trolling again, they're going to rise up from that spot. And hopefully your fish will follow it. Uh, oh yeah, I made 1500 pickles, guys. So I am not worried about going hungry. I have 77 pieces and it's 5 piece each. So... I think I have 700 tree tea as well. And my cooking, these skills are so savage. I'm only at 43%. Ground bait cooking is 44%. My spinning and bottom are 60-60. I can finally buy a carp rod for bottom fishing. Uh, oh, wow. 
It looks like there is a nice fish on my second one. Oh, Jessica, you caught your... <laughs> well, Jessica is doing better than me. Are you using a hunter or a Kila? Because I... Right now... I have... What is it? I'll just go like this. I have Terminator DP Crank 6. Terminator... Uh, yellow DP crank. Okay, that's the one you have. And my first one has a fish on it. Ah, so far uh, Jess is winning. But you know what? One fish can make all the difference. <laughs> How many kg was it, Jess? I couldn't see the in-game chat. Uh, is it worth feeder fishing on Kurai? I would say no. I have tried a few times and you just don't get much. Uh, I think when people say a specific coordinate and they say that, uh, yeah, this spot is active for Bream, I guess then it's worth it. But the high entry fee and I mean, it's about trolling. So a 7 kg, hot damn. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's slow for me. But let's see how it goes. I do not have a yellow DP crank. Uh, oh, I do. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try that. I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, I'm on day six here and only one Kurai Char. Uh, two Shoes McGee, I would suggest trying Hunter 1001. Uh, if you look at the weekly, that's just littered with it. Uh, I guess it also matters where you fish. I'm fishing 10 meter hole, I'm fishing around the 4.5 meter hole the entire week. And I've caught so many. That spot works for me. Uh, but yesterday, someone suggested, you know, they're catching big fish all the way from 3 to 12 meter hole. And that's why I'm uh, trolling all the way up, it, up till here as well. Uh, but it's all RNG, you know. A lot of the times people say, oh, I'm catching so many fish at 3 meter hole and I won't catch anything. So, yeah, see, uh, Contestine, he's, he mentioned that. He got a Kurachar right beside the dock, which is a 10 meter hole. I think that's been the golden spot for the last two weeks. Just, uh, yeah, I guess you're just doing what I'm doing, following the spot. Wow, it's very quiet. I think it's the clouds that are messing with our, with us. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be amazing fish. Uh, wow. 16 kg lake trout. Someone decided to let it go. Uh, bear. Barbel. Okay. 42 kg grass carp. Holy cow. Volkov. Nothing. Donuts. Yeah, there's going to be nothing at donuts. Sura. Uh, big head. Okay. Laduga. Nothing. Amber. There you go. See? Amber is just littered with big fish. Tuba. Even more big fish. And all the high level players are at Tunguska, so it doesn't even matter. Oh, we got a fish. Uh, okay, it's the wrong rod here. Small non marker fish. So, what I do is uh, at the end of every, all my first day, at night when it slows down, I just go to the cafe and sell all my non marker fish. Uh, because the second day, uh, you will most likely fill up your net. Uh, yesterday in one hour, I got 70 fish. So. You definitely don't want to be going to the cafe during the day when you're catching a lot of fish. Constantly. So.
Anything good, Jess? I just... I'm not getting anything right now. Even though it's very cold and nice, uh, we just need the sun to poke out a little bit. Uh, my biggest fish right now is 5kg pike. It's not much, but... Oh, yep. Pull them at Oldberg. Uh, Oldberg. Holy cow, rain at Oldberg. Bear. Wolkov is not bad. Donuts is a very beautiful area. Yeah, majority of the fish are going to be non-markers, but uh, when you do get markers, they are worth nice. So they just make up for it somehow. Yeah, Donuts is a beautiful place, but uh, the pumpkin sunfish is beautiful. I just want to catch a trophy pumpkin sunfish sometime as well. Uh, I think doing the jig step or something like that is the way to go for them. But I've never done jig steps, so I just don't know how to. Both rods have something on him. Something small. Yeah. If you switch rods too quickly, you're going to have a third rod on your hand and it's very annoying. That's why I just give a little pause between before switching rods. Uh, I am making another video. Uh, it will be a montage and it's just a montage of me catching Kura chars. That's it. Nothing else. Because uh, they're red and they're so beautiful and I'm just cutting right to the point. Uh, yeah, I've caught uh, chubs and a few other fish doing float fishing. I went there to catch... Uh, I forgot the fish name. Uh, but I was... Oh, no. But I had a good good time there uh, last time. I forgot what bait I was using. Uh, but this tiny little fish uh, was giving me, you know, like 1200 XP for a small markers fish. Uh, let me just go into stats if I can't see it. Okay, let's aim ourselves. Oh, another fish over there. Uh, blue tag. I actually want to catch a blue tag fish, but I think my next goal, which I have too many of, is to catch uh, the most common... Uh, Trophies, like I don't have a trophy uh, gudgeon or rough, and I'm going to catch those. The stats of fish, what fish was I catching? Uh, I caught a Clupanella there, which was pretty cool. I caught a blue-eyed bream, I believe, there as well. I caught pumpkin sunfish 205. Ah, yes, Pontic Shad. These fish, if they're a marker, you can get... Uh, 1200 XP per fish and that's just amazing XP for such a tiny fish uh, yesterday I got four Sewan trouts as well four or five and they are worth good money oh both of them perfect this 10 meter hole is just gonna give us so much I really hope Okay, are we aiming the right way? Yes. So I like to turn here and over here because when you turn your right side rod, uh, that lure will uh, travel in the water faster and your left side lure will sink. And both of those rods uh, are enticing to different types of fish. And that's why I just turn in those deeper spots. Uh, but Oh yeah, Trophy Sewan. I can't imagine how much money that will bring in. Uh, 
I believe I would I will say that that is the second rarest fish here at Kurai. The rarest fish is a char. Uh, and char, I believe char would be a completely different lure to catch it. Uh, the biggest char, surprisingly, I've got a 1.3 kg one. Oh, a hunter one zero zero one. I think this is only from spin fishing. I don't think I've caught it while while trolling. The uh, Siwan trouts have always caught on this end here, to the east end of the island. Usually, I think when I turn to the left into the ten meter hole yesterday, I've got I caught the five point six kg Siwan there. And a few other uh, markers. Uh, obviously, it's not the same for everyone. I mean, today I'm not catching anything. Uh, so, <laughs> just just hope luck is on your side, I guess. Uh, so far, uh, th 40 minutes. It's it's okay. Not not any big fish, but these are very good quality fish. If you have markers at Kurai, that's gonna amount to good money. Uh, I don't know if this yellow DP crank is working for me, but it is cloudy though. I think that uh, 202 gram Kurai chart out of the 15 meter. Uh, that's not even a marker. <laughs> All right, we are gonna make a turn right now. So Jess, have you caught already a trophy lake trout and arctic char yet? Even the Wendy's? Wendy's are so random, I wasn't even aiming for them and you just randomly get a trophy Wendy's. Whenever I've always tried to farm for a trophy fish, I've never gotten it. Uh, the only time I've gotten a trophy when I was fishing for a trophy fish were the Gribble and Crucian Carps, uh, a Roach, and I think that's pretty much it. All other trophies I've gotten so far, I've gotten 12 different types of trophies, and I've caught a total of 29 trophy fish, and I've never really uh, tried to aim for a trophy because every time I've been disappointed. Uh, both already okay uh you're trying original minnow hopefully that works Jess. we can break the code here <laughs> uh, i'm gonna go back to my green you know what unfortunately sorry but i think uh the clouds are just killing it uh the killing the good fish uh, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow when the sun uh pokes out that's when it's gonna go crazy Uh, so yeah, that's the reason uh, I don't have Twitch. I'm on YouTube. Oh, there we go. There's a marker fish, perhaps. I'm not on Twitch because I'm just not known there. YouTube, I've been working really hard on my channel. Uh, so streaming, you know, brings in potential new people in. And that helps your channel. So that's why since, you know, a person or two know on my channel, that's why I stream on YouTube. Evening could be good. Uh, I hope so. Sunset time, it really picks up sometimes. So let's hope for the best here. Okay, we are good to go. Someone's line is torn. Yeah, I'm being too risky now that I've discovered uh, locking up your reel with my new setup. Like if I lock this up, um, most of the time the resistance will still be in green because the fish are small. Oh, uh, do we have a fish on that? Yeah, we do. That's why I'm doing that a lot. I'm worried one day I will accidentally lock it on a big fish and I will end up breaking my uh, leader. 
516 gram perch. If it's a big fat perch, I welcome it. These pickles are really bad at feeding you. I get hungry so quickly here. We are leaving the 10 meter hole. I'm going to go through this, this hole here and then turn over to the 12. Hopefully that works. Uh, usually I just turn right back here and go through the 10 meter hole. You know what? Screw it. Let's do that. Uh, the 12 meter hole and 3 meter hole haven't given us any fish today. So let me try my own regular route and see how it goes. 6.7 degrees. That is amazing for Kurai. So let's see how that goes. fish so far we have a good number of markers i'm happy with that it's not not a bad day actually it seems very slow but over time these markers do make up a good amount we just need uh my wish always is that right when it's becoming evening time you know overnight is going to be slow so right when it's evening, you get this huge fish and you know it's going to be a few minute fight and that's like the ideal thing to happen to you. And the pike went for her other line here. A 2kg pike perhaps? Oh yeah, 2.2kg. Gonna throw towards that deep end. Okay, let me just turn my light on. Oh, something is on our second rod here. As long as it's a marker, please. Please a marker, please. Oh no, that's a non-marker. Ah, it bothers me so much. A 1kg Arctic char, that's such a clean fish. It looks like it's an expensive fish, but even a 1kg is worth less, like come on. Okay, I do have different colored lines too. I like this blue colored line. I have a yellow colored line. I did not go for braided uh, because you just, I just don't need it. Uh, especially since it wears out your setup a lot faster from what I hear. I just decided to go with these. Uh, I only use braided when I'm doing carp fishing. All right, 10 meter hole, please unleash your bounties onto us. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think our, yep, number one has a fish on it. Another non-marker, unfortunately. And we will turn. Hey, nice lake trout, Jess. 3.6 kg. Lake trouts are very rare above 3 kg because I know there is always a cafe order that says you need at least two or three lake trouts that are above like 3 point something kg. And most of the time I don't have that. Arctic chars are the most common one I found out. Oh come on, 1.5 kg non-marker. So close, I believe 1.7 kg is a marker. Oh, we have another one. Yeah, this Hunter 6 uh, works. Hey, finally, 
barely a marker. So this 4.5 around that also is good. <laughs> yeah, let's see how it goes. What's the weather like? No rain. Uh, tomorrow is calm. And cloud and sun. Okay. Two hours at Kurai 390. Trophy grilling order. Gonna go. Okay. Wait, someone's leaving? I'll just write by. I think there's sufficient our first rod. Yes. Oh, both of them. Alright, let's start the boat when they're both having a fish on them. Does not look like a marker. Oh, it is a marker. Wow. Okay. Another pike. Another. Oh, uh, just bit. Not a marker. Okay, I'm gonna face the rod that way. The lure sinks in before we turn around again. All right, DJM TV, thank you so much for watching, tuning by. Uh, thank you so much for uh, the go wishes. I hope I get one today. Hopefully, I get another one tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Fortunately, I think uh, the clouds have hampered our our hopes for catching a trophy. But uh, if we go to weekly record for Kurai, uh, see, it's all blue. Hunter one zero zero one. Someone caught it on this. Uh, but again, I think someone told me that since everyone is fishing with the Hunter 1001, obviously it's going to be on the leaderboard. Uh, it could be, you know, there are other lures that might bring in a trophy Kurai char, but since not a lot of people are using those, uh, you just don't see it on the leaderboard. Just because it's working, just because it's littered uh, the leaderboard doesn't mean... It's very hot, you know, it's going to instantly catch a trophy for you. Uh, could this be a marker? Yes, 2.15. I also want to catch a marker eel. I have caught an eel, but it was a non-marker. So maybe I might go to Oldberg or whatever spot people are having luck with again. I know I've tried for many nights for eel and I've not caught them. But that's that's the whole point of the eel. It's very rare, so. Hey, the sun is coming out. Looks like the evening is going to be amazing. If the sun stays. Alrighty. Tench. I haven't fished for Tench in a very long time. Uh, a lot of people are getting, getting tench trophies too. It's like, oh man, I should go to that spot and get myself a trophy. But you'll go there, you'll fish for two hours and you won't catch anything. That's why I just don't bother when people say they have gotten trophies there. Unless I really want it. Say one trout, there you go, Jess. 1.7 kg, very nice. Uh, you're using the minnows, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm gonna drink tea in a little bit here. Because it fills you up so much that I just want to drain myself out. So we've been at it for almost an hour now. Uh, which means the second hour, I think we're going to catch a lot of fish. Because if your first hour is very slow, then your second hour is going to be great. <laughs> That's what I've noticed. Oh. 
Come on, fishies. What are we keeping at full? Yes. <clears throat> Where is Twizzle fishing? Fusion carp. Is a gibble carp. I think he's a mosquito farming carps. Uh, you will easily fill your net full with uh, crucian and gibbles at the mosquito spot. I went there actually a few days ago. Uh, I caught a few fish and all of a sudden the spot just died out. Uh, so I don't know what happened. All of a sudden they decided they wanted to eat something else all of a sudden. So I just got fed up and left. Some days are good for you, some days are bad. That's how it is. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, you caught your first trophy, Chinese sleeper. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I caught a. I got several Chinese sleeper earlier on, and I loved every bit of it. It was such a surprise. Especially when you're low level and you're at Old Berg or at Winding Rivulet and you catch those Chinese sleeper trophies, it's like wow. <laughs> so and they're so fat too. Uh so like a mosquito, this four hundred gram one. Look at the tummy on this thing here. It's so fat. <laughs> Uh, winding. Okay, I didn't catch anything at four forty two at Old Berg, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I still have to go to Belaya and catch a trophy brown trout. Uh, someday, someday we'll go back and get that. Thank you, Jess. Oh, you were saying you were saying to him. Okay, never mind. Uh, grayling seven eighty five. Grayling, I believe if you use a green uh green spiker you, you should get it especially when it's raining yeah i caught it on mosquito too i'm sorry it's not at winding uh but yeah if you're farming for crucians and gibble carps there you are bound to get bound to get a sleeper eventually 466 gram ah oh, damn bigger than my biggest farm uh my biggest catch and we have a tiny fish in our first rod. It's finally sunny too. I'm hoping to get something here. We have to get one big fish at least. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Yeah, I apologize if Urai has been underwhelming for you. It is for me, but wow, like we've caught a lot of markers. That's actually the average. But it just seems so slow to me for some reason. I think usually you'll get a lot more non-marker fish, but today I just haven't gotten that many non-markers, so it seems like it's a slow day. Oh, we have a fish. Come on. I want to hear that ticking and my line just slipping out. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, marker. Nice. I hope, Jess, you're getting fish too. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring you to Kura and just be an underwhelming day for you. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to go to Volkov. Volkov is a much bigger place. You get many different types of fish. And Volkov is a little bit scary because you can get a lot bigger fish there too, especially the salmon. The salmon fight a lot, very hard. Uh, and the odd catfish, holy cow. I was not even close to the dam. And I hooked that 22 kg uh, catfish. And that was scary.
All right, I'm going to make a turn here. Uh, Volga Sander. Even at donuts, I've not discovered all the fish. Even at Volka, I, there are, I believe, two fish that I haven't caught yet. Uh, stats, if we go to trophies uh, at Volkov. Asp, Atlantic Sam, Blue Bream, I haven't caught yet. Dace, I think I have caught. Dace or Nace, I think either or I haven't caught yet. Wimba, I've never caught. So those are definitely the fish I want to try. Yes, Jessica, it is sunny. <laughs> I, I hope that means we get fish. Uh, non-markers, non-markers. Lots of non-markers. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's so calm too. The water is so still. Come on. We need a big fish here. For the audience. Oh, yes. So I'm at 255 hours now in game, I think, which is just insane because I started playing this game, I think two months ago, perhaps, and I spent way too much time every day on this game, but I've enjoyed making all the videos, uh, the video series I have on my channel. Uh, I'm very happy I started recording the video series from when I was an absolute noob like I was level I don't know 10 or something when I started recording I don't even remember and every catch was just so amazing for me it's like oh look a 5 kg grass carp oh my god that's the biggest fish and I think it's just a very nice uh, story I guess of me growing up in this game you know, now look at the setup I have. Obviously, it's a mid-tier setup, you know, but... Uh, we're just reeling in the fish now. Uh, before, when I was still new, I went, I came to Kurai. I think I've already released that video and I just didn't get much. And that's because our setup was not ideal. Okay. Oh, fish got away. Alright, in a few minutes we will go into the cafe and we will sell all of our non-marker fish. Uh, usually I <laughs> I have about 60 to 70 fish. Uh, but today, not too much. But I believe I still have the same amount of marker fish though. Uh, let's see. Avis Tunguska for the people who have it unlocked. The only thing I don't like about Tunguska is you can catch a brown trout there and that basically makes uh, Belea like nothing. Like it's, it's a worthless place now. Only if you are low level will you go to Belea. If you are a high level you're gonna obviously go for uh, go to Tunguska to catch. A brown trout, but I believe you have a much higher chance of getting a trophy at Bilea though. Because in the weeklies, if I remember correctly, the last time I checked, all the trophies were from Bilea and not Tunguska. Uh, but it just sucks. Everyone's catching brown trouts like they mean nothing. Before they were so rare. And you know, like in the chat, if you caught a 1kg plus brown trout, everyone would be like, yo, nice, nice fish, you know? And now the chat is just littered with 1 kg, 1.5 kg, 700 gram brown trouts. It just takes that <laughs> essence out of that place. 
but I wanted to buy a UL, an ultra light rod, and go to Balea because that was good XP. And uh, I could cast far, but people are like, oh, why are you going to waste money on UL and blah, blah, blah. And that really put me down. I just never went for it. And then I discovered trolling. And ever since trolling, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> like nothing, at least for me, nothing can match the XP and the money uh, in comparison. Uh, the issue I have with bottom bottom farm is those spots dry out. Like, I'll be at Oldberg, I will, you know, spend a day at Oldberg, uh, that pond. And I'll get big carps, but then nighttime you go catch Bream. And then the next morning you come back and those carps are gone and you're only getting gibbles now and crusions or whatnot. And that just, it's so frustrating, like, why did they have to kill the spot so quickly? Whereas with trolling, I think you can troll for hours and the fish are not going to dry out. At least I only troll for two hours. That's that's all, that's how much time I spend every day in this game. I don't go over that and it's very healthy for me at least. When I was bottom fishing, I was spending three to four hours. So I'm very happy. Two hour trolling. One and done, you make good money, you don't spend so much, you know, making ground baits and picking up three rods at once and all that stuff. You don't have to go through that. This is very, I guess, stress-free. You just buy the lure and that's it. Uh, it is nighttime. Unfortunately, evening did not bear much. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, every day I've been doing so well here. The one day I finally decide to dream, it's nothing. Yeah, I think when it's late in the night, then I'll just go back to the cafe and sell the non-markers. And unfortunately, I don't know what time I started. Uh, mosquito cruising river the most trusted. Yeah, I know because you're getting bites on all three rods almost simultaneously and you gotta like reel it in, throw out, reel it in. Oh, oh, the ground bait is finished. Okay, put a new one. And like that's the thing, that's the difference between bottom feeding and trolling or spin fishing. Uh, but 700 silver is very nice. Is that for one hour of fishing? Yeah, you know what? Other people are reporting uh, Kura is very slow. Yeah, there's a few people there. Oh, wow. 2.2 KB. Even a 2.2 looks so big. Uh... Yeah, at Mosquito, that's the easiest, I think, trophy fish you can get. Fusions and Gibbles. Uh, at that spot in Mosquito. I don't think there's any other trophy fish that you can get so easily. Uh, three hours total. Okay, that's decent. I'm surprised those spots don't dry out for you, though. Oh, I, we have a fish on uh, our second rod here. Oh, it's a one trout, a pathetic little piece. The non marker, but it's okay. Damn. Should have streamed yesterday. Holy cow. Uh I think Roach might have been the second e easiest trophy to get. Uh, at Mosquito there was a very hot spot. Uh, I believe you used fly. Was it fly or mayfly? And all three rods were getting simultaneous hit. And within, I believe, 40 minutes, I got a trophy. Roach. 
and I never fished for them again because I have a trophy. <laughs> I don't care about them anymore. Yeah, I mean, Kura right now is just slow, unfortunately. I don't know why. Uh, but let's wait and see till the morning. And let's wait when till, you know, the two hours of trolling is over, how much I actually made. It seems slow, but I'm going to go ahead and say it's average. Uh, because we have at least two rows uh, of markers. And these fish are going to bring in, I believe, good money. And then tomorrow, since it seems a little bit slow, I think it's going to fire up a lot tomorrow. At least that's what's always happened with me. Either the first day is really good and second day is slow, or the second day is really good and the first day is slow. I don't know why. I don't know how. I think it's just programmed that way, or maybe that's just me. So, oh my god, 2.3 kg gibble. Congratulations, Matis. Matis, uh... Isn't that perfect? It's going slow and you're like, oh man, I'm going to move and boom, you get this huge trophy. Oh, you have sabers. Okay. Yeah, that's the issue. When I was at Kurai, I, I had weak setups. And if it takes a long time to reel in a fish, uh, it's you just won't make much. Another Arctic. And that's a marker, that's great. Uh-oh, I am... Nope, I'm on time here. We're gonna make a sharp turn. We will hopefully get a fish from this spot. Uh, yeah, try your luck at Kura in the morning. Uh, return yet? I believe we are. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the cafe soon. After we cover this 10 meter hole, I'm just gonna turn around and quickly go to the cafe and sell off the non-markers. <laughs> oh yes, it's August guys, I can't believe it. Yeah, it's it's so disappointing. I went to Old Berg for Bream because I wanted to quickly level up my bottom feeding. And people were saying they were catching uh, Breams. I went there, I caught like five markers the entire night and I was like, what the heck is this? Uh, so there is no a good active spot, not that I think of right now at Old Berg. So, uh, don't really feel like doing bottom fishing when there is no proper active spot. Uh, 2.9 kg gibble. You are on fire right now. It is uh, evening time. Evening time is when the big ones bite. The gibble and the crucians. So, wow. Two trophies already. You might even have a chance of catching a blue trophy. Bream on Volkov. Uh, yeah, I believe there is a good Bream spot at Volkov. Again, uh, I just have to check uh, either the data sheet, the mega sheet uh, by Paul. I don't know if that's been updated yet after that fiasco that happened. Uh, but I always follow that. Sometimes those spots work for me, sometimes they don't. Uh, people usually ask in the chat if Someone is having luck. Uh, they will say that, yeah. We're gonna go right to the shop. I'm just gonna reel it in. Uh, lots of trophies, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the most, that's the easiest blue trophy perhaps to get. Heck, I might <laughs> go to Mosquito. <laughs> After the day I'm having here. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna quickly get off. Uh, I do not want to see... How much we are actually making with 
I just want to keep it a surprise for myself. I don't know why, but I just prefer doing that. And we're going to go right back in. I want to spend as much time trolling as possible. Okay, sometimes I just throw it in the front. So that it has time to, uh, to sink. Okay, and then I turn back so it can... Hmm. Alrighty. Maybe night time the big fish wake up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everyone, once they've trolled enough, they just figure out the same techniques as everyone else. I have a... <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a feeling, well, I don't have a feeling, I know that I think once I am level 30 and I've explored all these bodies of, oh, someone caught a Kurai Char, okay, that's an ultra light. I think once I'm level 30 and I've unlocked everything, I think that is when I will relax and I won't care much about, okay, how much silver am I earning every hour? You know, I need to earn more than a hundred. Once I'm at I'm at that spot, I think I will start enjoying, you know, like fishing at slow spots like bear, or just farming for trophies. But right now, I'm just in too much of a rush to level up and uh, make money. Holy cow, Jessica! Not a single Kurai Char. Wow, what the heck is going on today? The Lake Neo is streaming. Uh, how is it like? Okay, so tomorrow is partly cloudy, sunny, so I'm hoping. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. So we have 27 marker fish. I'm hoping that's at least 200 seller right there. Uh, how much? 1 hour 15 minutes. Ooh. 45 minutes left. That's not good. That's not good. But let's see. Let's see how the morning goes. It's still too early to tell uh, with this lake. Uh, I'm just gonna make a turn. Soon enough. Okay, let's make that turn now. The reel on my left is going to sink down and the reel on my right, the lure on my right is going to travel faster and so many times I've seen a fish quickly follow the reel on the right because it's traveling faster. Uh. Oh yeah. Those Atlantic salmon are said to fight very hard and that's the only fish that scares me there that's why see my i got a hit on that one that was the one that's traveling fast yeah the salmons is the reason i wanted to have a better setup before i went there at kurai nothing is can push my setup but at wolkov uh this is i think the 8000 series of rods is of reels is the absolute minimum yeah, Saber 60... Ugh. Saber 60 is too weak, unfortunately. I remember when I was new to the game, uh, M Dog had a video about going to bear, and he said that Saber 60 is the minimum, and I believe that's a 10 kg reel, right? And even on 10 kg reel, like, catching a 6 to 8 kg carp was a struggle. It took a few minutes, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with my Lacerdes. I'm going to save up till I have something that's like 14 kg or something. So I skipped over the Saber 60s and just went for a better reel. Like I'm very patient like that. And then I went bare and I got absolutely nothing. Like I've caught bigger fish at Oldberg. <laughs> Heck, I caught the biggest fish while trolling. Oh. I might actually, you know what? 
my next i guess the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to sura i'm gonna ask people around and i'm gonna try for sturgeon and like that will be a new fish to catch you know like i'm just tired of catching the same fish over and over again Ooh. yeah that sucks uh the other thing I've learned, I'm still learning in this game, but the other thing is it's also about the rest of your setup. Uh, like your, how big is your, how many kg is your rod, how many kg is your line and uh, leaders. So I didn't have that knowledge before and now that I do, I can reel in fish so quickly, but uh, I'm putting a lot of stress on my brakes too uh, because I you know I crank it up to 28 29 in no time and obviously when your brake goes into the reds uh, that wears it out a lot faster before the first hundred hours of my gameplay I only braked till it was yellow that's why it took me so long uh, 20 kg grass carp that is very nice uh, 19 kg was my biggest catch for many, many, many hours. Uh, uh, Saber, okay, yeah, so it's a 10 kg and... Okay. Yeah, so you have to look at that amount too. Like, I had no idea that thing existed until I looked at the mega sheet. And like the saber, uh, sorry, the the caliber is a 15.5 kg max break, but the actual break is like 30 or 31 kg. So I was like, oh, and that's why all of these setups are geared like that. Like a novice person, when I was new to the game, I would look, okay, 14.5 kg. Oh my god, this rod is 24 kg, 27 kg, 22 kg. My reel is. The weakest thing in the setup so it might break if i lock it uh, but that's not the case as i learned so 14.5 is not the actual maximum drag i guess or whatever you want to call it it's for this alpha i think it's like 34 kg or something like that so yeah that mega sheet is amazing uh it's helped me out a lot too oh wow did you see how fast that fish came in like a mizzle so it is morning we're finally getting a few fish a few marker fish uh but i'm still waiting for the big one jess how is it going on your end i really hope your catch are oh, you doing better than me uh man your kura char that you already got was is an amazing size seven to eight kg yeah, that mega sheet is very helpful. I've, I believe I've helped that person out once or twice. Uh, he was asking for cafe orders. And uh, I was at Old Burg at that time. So I used to take screenshots for him and I've sent him a few screenshots of different cafe orders because he was compiling that data. Uh, oh, non-marker. Yeah, ooh, did I catch a fish already? I just casted it. Nice. Yeah, initially, uh, the tutorial or people, what people used to say is not really accurate, but I guess it works when you're low level. Uh, but initially, it doesn't matter because you're using small rods and reels. It's once you get to the intermediate level is uh, sorry Jess I know you followed me here I made high hopes for Kurai uh, unfortunately today is not the day I guess <laughs> yesterday was the day <laughs> and all other days oh both fish it is much active now in the morning and uh, I think it's because of the sun 
and that's a non-marker. This might be a marker fish. Yep. Oh crap. Uh, I think something took my line here. Nope. Okay, we are going to aim for the 10 meter hole. And head for that. Uh, yeah, I think the most recommended video at, on YouTube for everyone when they're searching for anything is, uh, I forgot his name, that bearded guy. He's on Mosquito and he's telling you how to fish, how to uh, set up your level, how to set up your setup, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that's the most recommended video, so I think for low levels that still works, but for moderate level, we definitely need a new video. I thought I was gonna make a tutorial video, but I don't think I have enough knowledge to do that. That's why I haven't gone there yet, but let's see. Yeah, uh, Jessica, I'm using, oh, uh, one and 10. Okay. Uh, the Hunter 1001 has worked for me, so I've never switched it to anything else. Uh, I have, I have used this one, Hunter 1002, it was working very well, like a week ago. Uh, but then it just went quiet and the green hunter was doing very well. So I have a Hunter 110, I can, I'll give that a shot, why not? Pike, sure. Uh, 110. Let's see how that goes. Oh. Mm. Oh. That 10 meter hole is amazing. That was such a quick bite. And that is, oh my God, 3 kg Sevan trout. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> It's obviously very random, like any of the hunters I believe is going to work and DP crank. So it doesn't mean since I've switched to this one that you're going to get big <laughs> Sewan trouts, but I welcome that. I think that might be our second or third biggest fish. Okay, no, they're bigger fish than that. Okay, that's great. So we have a few markers. Oh my god, another one. Oh, that's a perch, but it looks like a marker. 564, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Oh my god, another one. Holy cow. Another perch, that looks like a fat one as well. 810 gram. Let's see how this goes here. Even though it's very shallow in this part of the lake, you would expect to catch absolutely nothing. But I've caught a lot of big fish in this spot. Oh, our first one has a hit. Uh, let's see here, is that a pike? Uh, non-marker lake trout. Hey, Elvis, congratulations, you got your alpha. I bought two alphas too for bottom feeding. I believe those were the cheapest ones I could get initially. Uh, but since then, uh, ooh, nice Arctic charge as 5kg. And we have another one. Yay. But uh, ever since I've got the caliber, I would tell people to save up for the caliber. Uh, it has it has the lowest repair cost. At the end of the day, that is a huge factor, and it has the second lowest repair times as well. I believe the Gold S has the lowest repair time, but it Gold S is also, I believe, the highest repair costs. 
again, that mega sheet is amazing. That's how you can decide which reel you want to get. But I will definitely get, if I ever get another reel, it's going to be alpha. Uh, sorry, the caliber. But I have two alphas. I have one gold. I have one caliber. And uh, yeah, so I've, I have a lot. <laughs> so let's see. We have a fair amount of markers. Unfortunately, 5kg is the biggest fish we have. Uh, oh, I really want the Venja though. I believe that is the 30 kg reel. It's 10,000 uh, silver. And I have no problem making up that silver ever since I've been trolling. But the issue is you need to be, I believe, level 30 to do it. So it's going to take many, many, many hours. Ouch, someone broke the reel. Hopefully it's a starter reel. I have 6,000 silver. I had this much like last week but I ended up buying these 30 kg rods and bought leaders and wires and all that stuff and I'm at 6,000 again. Right now I need more experience than I need money. How do you break your reel and leader at the same time? I don't understand. Ooh, I miss shot it. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous, Jessica. 27 kg real. Oh. I only know the joys of a 14 or a 15, 14.5 kg real so far. But the thing is, like, I don't have any areas unlocked that are gonna push this. Uh, maybe Volkov for the catfish, perhaps, but uh, just haven't caught anything that pushes it. Wow, I'm so sorry guys, today has been a terrible day uh, for trolling. I really thought today was the day because I was doing so good. Yesterday was insane. 10 marker Kurai Chars, like 4 or 5 Sivan Trouts. And they were 5.6 kg, 3 kg, 3 kg, and 2 kg, some on trouts I got yesterday. And it was similar weather, weather to this, and I was like, oh man, today's the day. Ouch, so many people are breaking their rods and reels now. Yeah, the only time... The only thing I've broken so far is my rod and that was at Wolkov. I had something big on it. I accidentally maxed it out and my rod <laughs> was the weakest link and it snapped. And it was a 14.5 kg rod and I was like, oh no, no. <laughs> but it was only, I believe, 289 silver, which is one hour's worth of trolling at Wolkov. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, Kurai absolutely sucks. I hate Kurai for everything. That's why I want to go Volkov. If anything breaks, Volkov has everything in stock and it has the fairest prices. So unfortunately, you're going to have to go to Volkov, come back, pay that stupid, you know, 30 silver entry fee and uh, get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, line and leader should always be your weakest. Yes, that is right. Your weakest link should be your leader and the swivels on your leader should be slightly uh, stronger than the leader itself. So in my case, uh, since I have a 22.8 kg leader, my line, as long as it's more kg than this, it can be 25 kg, 
23 kg, 24 kg, doesn't matter. It has to be above your leader here. It's because this is the weakest link. If you have a 15 kg leader, then an 8 kg fish is going to max out. It's going to red line your entire setup. And you'll be like, I have a 14.5 kg rod. Why is this tiny little fish giving me such a hard time? And that's because your weakest link is your leader. So... <sighs> well, whoever that someone you lent your Hunter 1001 to is, <laughs> hope they, they made good fish and uh, they give it back to you ASAP. Man, the way these rods bend, it's like, holy cow, I got a big fish on. But like, even the tiniest fish can bend it like that. What do we have? No Kura Chars, holy cow. What is going on today, Pike? I went to Volkov a few days ago. And uh, it was raining, it was miserable there. And I was like, screw Volkov, and I came to Kurai. And I sold all the fish from Volkov, and in one hour I made 377 silver, and I'm like, holy cow. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> That's not an okay day. That's a good day. Uh, so it's just when you're not getting marker fish every few seconds, you feel like it's slow, but it's actually very average. It's very uh, balanced, I would say. Like right now, I think the fishing is very balanced. You're making good money, but you're not catching fish every second. Uh, how do you make homemade leaders? Uh, thank you, Jess. You need to buy... Ooh. I have two fish on right now. You need to buy uh, that plier. Uh, I just mentioned. Uh, you need to buy fluorocarbon line. Which will be in the lines section. You need to decide how many kg you want. What length you want and then you need to buy the swivel so if you decide to buy a 20 kg fluorocarbon line uh, you should probably look at buying a 22 kg swivel uh, swivels you don't have a, they don't have a lot of variety in terms of size wise so you're gonna you might end up buying like a 24 or 28 kg swivel for like a 20 kg liter and that's fine i guess we don't really have an option for that I don't know if that clears things up, but uh, I think if you go into the shop, you will, you'll hopefully find them. Hmm. It's uh, the plier is, I believe, two hundred eighty-nine silver. So it's not that expensive. I've always thought of uh, on Twitter doing that announcement thing. And I think that announcement comes in the game as well. But I just don't know how to set it up well ahead of time. I've never really bothered doing it. Yeah, I, I, I really hope that information helps you. Uh, Jess walked me through it too when I was brand new to making my own leaders. Because when I came to Volkov... I think the biggest liter you can get from the marketplace is like 15 kilograms. And people are like, that's not enough for Volkov. I was asking around, you know, how how do you make liters? I, I have the plier. And then Jessica helped help me out. So uh, it's it's a great community. MDOT community, if you're not part of it, uh, I suggest you join it. It is a family-friendly community. And there's a lot of experienced people in this community. And they help you out. When I was early on in the game, a lot of people sent me ground baits, they sent me hooks, they told me what hooks that I should use for what type of fish. And it, if it weren't for them, I think I would have quit the game a long time ago because I'd be sitting down fishing for half an hour and not getting much. And that just, that makes you quit a game. <laughs> so thank you so much to the MDoc community. MDoc, thank you so much, man. I'm happy I discovered your videos and I joined your channel and it's helped.
and I always hope that like I'd be able to do a video with M Dog. You know, we can play a an online game together. I don't know what game, but any game that's interesting enough. 4.4 kg lake trout, yay! Something of a decent size. And our second rod has something here. See this east side? It's sometimes it just gives you so many fish. Is that a pike? Yes, that is a pike. The, today is definitely much better than yesterday. Uh, than uh, our first hour when it was cloudy. Yeah, from Dark Channel is amazing. Uh, honestly, as a new player, if I didn't have anyone gifting me ground bait, I don't think I would have caught anything yet. Like when the Bream Spa was active at Oldberg when I was new, uh, I was given, uh, you know, Bream ground bait. And I went Bream farming and I got a lot of Bream and it was amazing. And then I was like, hey, I want to catch, you know, carps, where should I go? And people were like, okay, have this ground bait, go fish at this spot. And I was getting good fish. So if it wasn't for the community, like, I, I have no idea what I would do. Uh, something on that line? I don't think so. That rod just likes to bend and mess around with me. We are in the 10 meter hole. I'm, I'm really hoping I get it. Yeah, oh, 390 silver. Uh, are you looking at Kurai's shop or are you looking at Volkov? Because Kurai is absolute garbage. You don't want to buy anything from Kurai. I remember 289, but again, I might be wrong and I think it might actually be 390. But you can make it up in one hour <laughs> if you have the setup though. 95 gram. Perch. Ooh. Something decent there from the 10 meter hole. Uh, let's see what it is. Not a single big fish. Never mind. That's not even a marker. Uh, oh, Oldberg. I believe Oldberg has the cheapest food in the game. If you go to the food market, that's the cheapest place to get it. Uh, in terms of repair cost, I believe Winding Rivulet has the cheapest price. Again, uh, look at the mega sheet. That's the only reason I know of these things here. Uh, but Wolkov is is uh like a hundred percent for everything so that's the fairest place to buy repair or anything there but you definitely want bigger rods before you buy uh before you start making your own uh own leaders I'm going to turn around. I'm going to keep going over the 10 meter hole. Okay, the Arctic Char. So you can get Arctic Chars at Tunguska too. If someone catches an Arctic Char, you just keep looking at the chat and look for what's the next fish they catch. <laughs> Do they catch some odd sized odd named fish that you've never heard of before then that's definitely Tunguska if the catch if they catch a Kurai Char or Savan Trout then you know they're a Kurai or a Lake Trout for that matter uh, that's that's the crappy thing about trolling if you have a third rod out even if you don't have a third rod out you're always looking to the back of the boat you're looking at your one rod here one rod here one rod here one rod here and that gets actually tiring and sometimes you're like you know what I just want to enjoy the calm and serene environment so I'm just gonna go bottom fishing unless you go you know those gibble farms or brain farms those are hectic but I think everyone likes hectic 
because you're getting fish and you're making money and experience. <gasps> Guys, I still haven't gotten a single bream trophy and I've got hundreds and hundreds of breams. What is the biggest bream I've caught so far? Uh, 4.38 kg. Guys, potatoes. Uh, uh, what's a marker? Was Is it 5 kg, I think? So, so many trophies that look like they're easy to catch that I have to get. Uh, yeah, I hear taimans are very scary. Uh, taimans are also at Belea, but they're extremely rare. I think I've caught a, uh, a taimant. Uh, T. Where is T? A, B, C, D, T. Oh, no, I have not gotten a taimant. Maybe it's another fish that I am, uh, that I am, uh, confusing with. Oh, I right, has something. Oh, man, another perch. A small one, too. I am going to turn. Uh, I caught a 4.7 kg beam trophy. Wow. For a beam to be your first trophy is really awesome because that is a very good money, I guess. A 4.7 is a trophy? What? And I have a 4.37, I believe, as my trophy. I mean, non trophy. Oh man, that's so close. How much is a Bream Trophy worth, do you know? Do you remember? Uh, I believe a Lake Trout is worth 199 silver and an Arctic Char Trophy is worth uh, a lot more than that. Because I think it's still the most expensive fish. Yeah, Arctic char. It's just barely a trophy. 11.4 kg. And that is the most expensive fish. Uh, 4.7, that was my first trophy, it was 57 silver, okay. To be honest, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, do the, um, the, the trophy price is, price keeps changing too, right? That sucks so much. But yeah, I'm surprised how expensive the Arctic Char was. I honestly thought the Lake Trout would be worth a lot more because... I thought they would grow bigger, uh, but Arctic char is more expensive, so, ooh, wow, that was a free fish, I was just reeling it in, and uh, Pike went for it. Alrighty, what other fish do we have? See, we have 57 fish already, although we have a few from yesterday, uh, but we are doing well today because it is sunny and it is cold. What's the weather like? Yep. Uh, how much markers do we have? See, we have a lot of markers now. Now I feel comfortable. Uh, how much time? Oh no. Our time is almost over, guys. That is really bad. I've never done this bad in a long time now. I hope we are making at least 200 silver per hour. Oh, there we go. See, I can max the brakes right now. But uh, I'm not, because it's just unnecessary. If it starts running away, I might. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it when uh, <laughs> you have the right setup. If I had like a 12 kg leader, there's no way I would have been able to do this. Ooh, oh, 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 it's running. You know what? I might lock it, but it's running way too fast right now. 
when it runs less then I will okay I have to be really careful if it decides to run it might redline now I need to really concentrate down at my line oh crap holy cow I am not doing that again did you see how quickly that redlined holy cow <gasps> it's a savant trout guys it's a savant trout it's a big one yes 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 I'm gonna stop the boat if it tires out. Uh, am I at 29? Yeah, I'm at 29. I am not maxing this. Okay, let's see how big this is. Damn it. Oh man, I wish I had the caliber. I would have been able to max break that. No problem. And I always reel it in because the slack all of a sudden uh, goes down. And I'm worried it might unhook itself at that time. So I really don't care. Oh my god, how much food do I need? Oh man. I can't even put my rod away. But I think I have a lot of line left, so... I got too confident. I thought we had the fish in the bag and I stopped trolling, uh, but it's okay. We have a whole lot of line. Uh, my break is at 29. I'm not going to max it out. At 29, it is not getting close to that second bar of the red line, so I'm just not going to do it. I really don't want to get this away. I doubt this is a marker. Oh no, I, I, I'm sorry, a trophy. I think a trophy savan is... <gasps> oh, I'm gonna let go of the shift. I'm gonna let go of the shift. Holy cow, I was not looking at that. A trophy savan trout is 8 kg, right? I think this might be it. Holy cow, this might be it, guys. Oh no, I can't even pull my rod away. Ah, uh, my energy is going down. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> No! Can I drink? Ramp. Usually if my energy gets low, I just put the rod away. I put, uh, I holster the rod on the boat. What the hell do I do? Everything is full, I just drank tree tea. Okay, it's finally going up. Holy cow. That was scary. Oh, I really hope so, guys. I really hope this is a trophy. No Sewan Trout has ever come close to this. That 5.6 kg Sewan Trout that I caught yesterday was no match at all. I didn't even know it was a Sewan Trout. It came in so quick. But this guy is really fighting, so this might be a trophy. Uh, keep drinking tea. Okay. I can't. I'm full right now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's just so stupid. Uh, my hunger is 0%. My comfort is 100%. Like, what do I need to do? The only thing I'm worried about right now is running out of energy. I'm not worried about breaking my rod or unhooking the fish. Hopefully it doesn't unhook itself. That's just RNG, you cannot control that. But uh, I just shouldn't raise my rod. As long as I don't raise my rod, it shouldn't be able to unhook itself easily. Uh, I have loads of coffee, uh, Tatris. Thank you so much. I have 750 cups of coffee, thermoses of coffee. Uh, it's... Oh, coffee. Oh, I have tea. Oh, crap. Oh, but I won't be able to accept your coffee because I have to go in the menu. And if I stop reeling it in for a while, I think there it has a chance of unhooking itself. So I'm just not going to do it. I'll just keep on drinking tea. Uh, we still have loads of time and good thing is I have an extra boat ticket as well for one day. I always keep it for emer emergency. I guess now is the time I can tell you. Uh, when I caught 
Akurai Char on my 3kg USSR setup, the free one you get from the cottage. I got a 3.7kg Kurai, uh, Kurai Char. That was the biggest Kurai Char I ever caught at that time. It took me 14, 15 minutes or something like that. It's coming in, it's coming in. Should I raise the rod now? God damn it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna raise it. And uh, I, my heart was pounding at that time. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, 10 kg! <laughs> oh man, when I was underwater, I saw those yellow spots and I knew that was a trophy because I just saw Google Images before I started streaming. Oh my god, 89,000 XP, holy cow! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Guys, if it was bone dry this stream, I really hope that make, made it for you. <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. Thank you so much guys. I wanted a trophy Kurai Char. I got something even better. Uh, Sewan so trophy is so much more uh, rarer. Uh, Tatwist Fisher, thank you so much for the coffee. Whenever I, I'm in an emergency and my em energy is low, I'm gonna use the coffee. For emergency, I have smoked bream that Bacillus uh, gifted me like a month ago, I still have this and I saved it for emergency time. Same for the with this sausage that I accidentally bought. Oh my god, that was insane. Oh, I completely forgot. What was that on? Wow, I see all of a sudden I'm catching some on trouts. They're all non markers, but uh, they're all in this east side, like I mentioned. Yeah, it is very random. That's the best type of trophy when you're not expecting it. Oh, we have another one. Uh, yeah, for everyone in game chat, sorry I cannot reply to you just yet, but I will tell you guys how much it's worth because uh, my time is almost over. My uh, boat time. How much time do we have? Oh no, we are almost, we have five minutes left. Uh, by weight, it's... What did we catch this on? Uh, I, I, I forgot already, like, that's how bad my memory is. Uh, what is it? S, Savon Trout, Savon Trout, Savon Trout. I got it on Hunter 110. Oh my god, Jessica. <laughs> uh, uh. Wow, I am keeping this 110 hunter in for sure. Jessica, that was the lure uh, all these Sevans are going for. Uh, I do have a delay in my stream. Uh, I believe, I don't know, it's supposed to be like an 8 or 10 second delay or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm looking at it on my cell phone for the chat and I feel like there is a big delay. Uh, as long as my voice and video aren't off sync, then uh, it should be fine. Yeah, I'm sorry for the people who are in in game chat in game chat asking. Uh, while streaming, it's hard for me to concentrate. Ooh, another nice fish. Uh oh, nine second, eight second. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, 
right on time. Oh, we were almost about to lose it. And I ended up bugging my rod again because I uh, got it out too fast. I hate that. Uh, screw you. Yep. Wee. And we have this. Wow, there you go, guys. Two hours was slow, and then all of a sudden. Uh, don't worry, guys. I don't have my rod out. This is just Russian Fishing 4 telling me that I'm playing Russian Fishing 4 here. Uh, this is not my rod. See, now I'm holding one rod, two rod. Okay, so, ooh, let's check the cafe. Is there... Oh, man, I hate you. I hate you so much, cafe. When I want... Okay, so... Uh, let's go to the fish market. Let's sort by price. Let's see, 330 silver. <laughs> that is easily the most expensive fish I've caught. Holy cow. Uh, let me quickly write it in chat before I forget. Trophy. Seven trout. I always write the number seven because I like screwing around like that. So that is going to be the most expensive fish I've ever caught. By far. Uh, Arctic char. 35 silver for 6 kg. Uh, pike. Really good money. Another seven trout. 3 kg. Thank you so much, Jessica. It's because of you I landed that trophy. <laughs> I would have never used that lure uh, if it weren't for your suggestion. So far, we've made s wow, Se uh, six five four three three hundred eighty silver. We made if we excluded the Sivan trout three hundred fifty six, and that is absolutely pathetic for a two hour period. I'm surprised at how slow it is today. So six hundred seventy eight silver. I made in two hours and let's go to the stats there we go hunter won 10 on kurai let's see if I am on the weekly I doubt it but it doesn't hurt to try it's the end of the week so everyone's probably have huge fish on Swan trout <gasps> no oh I'm just under that's too bad uh, but as you can see hunter won has gotten a trophy uh, and the hunter hunter twos I was using the hunter twos last week I was getting good results but then this week I just I wasn't getting much so I decided to change them out uh thank you so much Jessica <laughs> yeah how much do I have 6700 silver uh, again I had 6000 silver a week ago too but I spent it, I spent a lot on uh, buying better rods. And your investment pays off when you have 30 kg rods and your setup's much better. Uh, guys, it's so disappointing. I'm still waiting to push my caliber. I haven't caught a fish on this setup that has pushed my caliber. So. Oh, it did? You know what? It's probably a weekly uh for uh for other region because i am in the other region uh weekly over here and kurai char oh sorry not kurai char i want that trophy so badly i'm looking for kurai chars there sevan trout sevan is even rare i can't believe it uh where is s s e sevan trout holy cow i'm in second place 10 kg. Ah, damn. So, does this mean, uh, what is today? Today's Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. Hopefully, hopefully, people have a bad time. <laughs> it's not good to wish ill upon people. But I want to remain on the leaderboard. And then on Sunday or Monday morning, Eastern Standard Time for us, I think, uh, the board's reset. So will I get any compensation? Will I get money or something? Uh, if I'm on the leaderboard? Because I think someone said that you do. Thank you so much, Jessica. Uh, so that's what I want to know. Uh, let's try it over. Let me go over here. Ooh, I need to reduce the friction break. Uh, we can reduce the speed to 20. 
And I'm just going to try this for one or two minutes, and then I think I'm going to end it. Holy cow, did you see that cast? Whew. I wish I could cast that far in Belea. It's for first globals. Aww. Uh, I forgot how to... Oh, I have a fish on. That was quick. Okay, you have to be in global in order to get it. Oh, well. Uh, what is this? It's a pathetic little perch. One more cast and I think I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, so when the rod bugs out, that square there comes at that exact same spot every time. I don't know. It's, you know, X-Files theme in the background running. Uh, <laughs> I thought this bug came about when they added Tunguska, but I think it's a very old bug perhaps. Oh, third, second, and first. Ah. You know what? I will check on Sunday what if I'm still on the leaderboard, and I'll check Monday if I'm on the leaderboard. Whenever it resets, hopefully, I don't know, I'll get a notification or I'll look at the money I have. If it goes up all of a sudden, I will know that I got something. Uh, but the devs don't really like giving up money. I don't think it's the devs who decide how much, like, you know, if how nice they need to be. I think it's the management above. They're like, you know, make this game as grindy as possible, and the devs just do what they're told. They don't have the power to decide. Uh, so I was surprised on the leaderboard you can actually get money for it. Like, wow, you know, their hearts are that open. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, Jessica. Oh. So the way you get this bug is uh, when you have it holstered on those racks over there on the boat and I have number one, okay, and I start spamming number two. That's when I will get a bug. And if I keep doing that on the boat, I think I will keep getting more and more rods stuck in my hand. And then you can basically do like a helicopter. You can do like this and you'll have like 10 lures just flying around. So it's a neat bug, I guess I discovered, but it's very annoying because when you want to right click and raise your rod, you can't do that sometimes. And when you have a fish on, on the boat, it's really annoying. So guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed the stream here. I'm once again going to show you at Kurai Lake Trout, Arctic Char, Kurai Char was the last trophy I wanted. And I thought, to me, I would have considered that as uh, dominate. I've dominated Lake Kurai right after I would get a Kurai Char. But holy cow, we got a Sivan Trout. Let me just show you once more before I end the stream here. It has yellow spots. Kurai Lake, July 1st. That? No, August 1st. Oh no, it's August already. August 1st, Hunter 1, 10. If you want to try it, go ahead. Weather right now for the next few hours is very good. Uh, so definitely try it out. Uh, once again, on the map, it's on the east end side that I've gotten Sivan Trouts. That's where you want to try. Again, it could be out completely random. Uh, but over the last few days, that's where I've gotten it. So guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed the stream. I really appreciate so many of you stopping by, saying hi, uh, engaging in the chat uh, with me. I really appreciate it. I do have a video series of Russian Fishing 4 going on as well, but it's very slow because I'm uploading so many other video series as well. So I think the latest video, I'm still like a level 20 and I'm a complete noob. Uh, but it's a cool journey. I really hope those are entertaining as well. Guys, that's going to be it from me. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Jessica, thank you so much for uh, wishing me with that Simon Trout. Uh, thank you so much, King OJ. I know you comment a lot on my channel. I really appreciate it. You know, you're like that voice that keeps telling me to, you know, uh, Mr. Keep going. <laughs> Don't get discouraged. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Tatwis. Thank you so much. Everyone else who has uh watch the stream and have been in the chat uh jessica 
I don't know how long you're trolling for. I think your two hours might be over soon. So do let me know how much you've made. <laughs> I really wish you get a trophy pretty soon. Uh, until next time, guys, really hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you hopefully in the next episode or the next stream. Until then, guys, enjoy.